talk to you today about functional social trends, eyebrows, and global warming. <laughs> social trends can often be baffling to older generations, and one of the most confusing trends these days is that of dark, intense, filled-in eyebrows, or to translate from my generation, hashtag brows on fleek. <laughs> but is this trend real? My team and I sought to quantify eyebrow expansion over time. Now, my MIT undergraduate education has taught me a lot of important things, but one of the most important things I've gained is the skill of resourcefulness. And another tangentially related fact about MIT undergraduates is that we can print up to 3,000 standard black and white printer pages per semester. <laughs> and so, naturally, I printed out 55 covers of Seventeen magazine, a trendy periodical aimed at teenagers from the year 1970 to the present. I mechanically removed the faces of these cover models and determined the relative amount of brow nucleons to face nucleons. This was achieved, of course, by weighing them. <laughs> the trend is clear, ever-increasing eyebrows. But why? Why these larger, darker, thicker eyebrows? Now, Correlation, of course, does not indicate causation, but it does indicate publication. <laughs> which, which leads me to my hypothesis, currently under review. Rising global temperatures correlate perfectly with rising eyebrow-to-head ratios. The existence of this data is undeniable, and global warming causes eyebrow expansion. Now let me back up a bit and look at the bigger picture, because as you will soon learn, this phenomenon is truly rooted in the very foundation of human behavior. The link between climate and eyebrows is nothing new. For instance, the Neanderthal had a facial structure entirely centered around their enormous brow bones. As early humans mastered the use of tools, their brow bones subsided. This is no coincidence. Humans developed a cognitive adaptation, the ability to alter their appearance, including their eyebrows, which saved them from the energy expenditure needed to grow these enormous brow bones. <laughs> now, large, dark eyebrows or large brow bones have a number of benefits. In cold climates, these thick eyebrows can prevent snow blindness or capture an incoming icicle. <laughs> In hot conditions, these eyebrows can protect vulnerable eye membranes from heat and light damage. Now, history and culture are replete with examples of beauty and fashion manipulation as an adaptive mechanism. For instance, the unibrow is a fixture in ancient Sumerian art. Although this feature no doubt lowered reproductive success, <laughs> its benefits outweighed its costs. A unibrow would have served as valuable protection against the hot Mesopotamian climate. Examples of this cognitive adaptation can be seen throughout history up to the present day. For instance, uh, two years after the Great Recession of 1949, Marilyn Monroe was pictured wearing this potato sack dress. And in the mid-1800, hoop dresses were all the rage. This can be explained by the 1883 eruption of the Krakatoa volcano, <laughs> whose powerful tremors would set women in high heels off balance and their hoop skirts would stabilize them. <laughs> Now, as ironclad as it is, some of you may not be fully convinced by my theory yet. Why do we need large, dark, on-fleek eyebrows in an age of central heating and air conditioning and where we are at the top of virtually every food chain? This is where global warming comes in, because climate change is not just about heat. It's about extremes. In the event of a cold snap, our large eyebrows can melt snow off our face and prevent frostbite. In the event of a hurricane, where there may be a breakdown of law and order, our thick eyebrows can help us appear larger and thus discourage predators. And in the event of a flood, our large eyebrows increase our visibility, perhaps acting as a distress beacon, and increase our odds of rescue. Now, my generation is often stereotyped as being selfish. I would like to offer concrete proof against this. Our large, dark, thick eyebrows, in fact, absorb heat radiation from the environment, thus counteracting the effects of global warming. 
The fact that you have never seen a baby boomer with jet black three inch tall eyebrows is proof that they are the problem. <laughs> you may be wondering what the implication of my theory is on gender roles since the uh, stereotypical male gender role does not prescribe the wearing of makeup. Tragically, across the board, men have a shorter life expectancy. <laughs> This can be explained by the average male's aversion towards filling in his eyebrows. Because men have thinner, lighter eyebrows, they are more likely to die of an eye-related disaster, such as macular degeneration or failing to capture that incoming icicle. So why do the biggest social, why do the biggest social influencers of today have such enormous dark eyebrows? Increased reproductive fitness. If it seems to you that celebrities are always popping out the babies, it's because they are. <laughs> Finally, I would like to leave you with one last thought. If you or a loved one considers yourself to be a hipster who is too cool to follow mainstream trends, I urge you to just say yes to peer pressure and fill in your eyebrows. Thank you. <laughs>